Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write an effective problem statement. Whether you are a student or a working professional, whenever you take up a project, the first thing that's evaluated or looked at is the quality of your problem statement. In fact, this is where it begins. So you just can't afford to go wrong with this. Let's understand this with the help of a problem first. Let's say we have a client who is posting content on an OTT platform. The key metric for them is the average views that they get. What we see here is while the views started picking up from the quarter three of the calendar year 20, and they became somewhat stagnant in the calendar year 21, we see a declining trend for the calendar year 22. So this is a concern. This shows that the user engagement is dropping. Knowing this problem, how are we going to put it in words? I'll show you some examples. A very high level example is views show a declining trend. Well, we understand that, but is this sufficient? Maybe they'll add a little more. Views are declining, which carries a negative impact on the revenue. Understood. But what we fail to do in these two examples is the quantification, right? So let's see how this could be written a little better. And then we'll go about understanding the right template. Can we say from Q1 to Q4 of calendar year 22, the average view count of our OTT channel was 134 million. This decline of 12% from 150 million last year is causing an estimated revenue loss of a certain amount, which can be easily obtained looking at the numbers. I'm sure you'd agree this is more effective. Let's understand what did we change here? So I'll show you a template that'll make your life easier. Whenever you're writing a problem statement, just stick to that template and you'll get full marks for your problem statement. Let's see. So it starts with something like an in or from. So you mentioned the time period. If you're talking about a particular time period, you can mention the duration also. Like we wrote from Q1 to Q4 of calendar year 22. The what? So what are you measuring here? What is the key performance measure or metric? In our case, it was the average view count. We, where is this problem happening? We are talking about this view count getting affected on an OTT platform. You can be specific. In fact, you can code the name of the OTT platform also, okay? Was how much? So we said it was 134 million. We don't know it's good or bad. It becomes bad when we compare it with our own past, right? So now we say a trend. We are not calling about just one instance of deviation and that would not really call for a project in fact. There must have been a trend. Right? It could be a trend which is downwards for a metric where you're actually supposed to do higher the better. And it could also be a trend which is upwards for a metric where you're supposed to be doing lower the better. For example, warranty claims. You don't want your warranty claims to go up. That speaks in volumes about the quality of your product. Right? So you would mention something to do with the trend. We mentioned there was a declining trend of how much. So you have to calculate the decline percentage. How do you calculate the returns? You have to use that calculation here. How much have we declined? It's a 12% decline in our case, right? From where we were. So this could be your benchmark performance or the targeted performance. Maybe you attained this or maybe you were trying to attain this. You, you indicating what's your best performance or what's your targeted performance. Is causing an estimated loss of how much? See, a very important aspect is a lot of things that you put together may be totally technical in nature and you understand the business metrics very well. But to somebody from the business background, especially the senior people in your organization, it's not going to matter unless you put it in terms of some dollar value or some revenue impact, right? So we are going to put a number would have been the revenue if we were attaining our target versus what is the revenue because we are not able to attain the target, right? That value is very, very important and that's your loss. Right? So I hope this template would make things much easier for you. Whenever you have to write a problem statement, just stick to this template and you'll be good. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.